Hi, welcome to African World Channel. In Mali, there's a lot of confusion about when the presidential elections will happen. The ruling junta promised to bring the country back to civilian rule within 24 months, but they haven't organized the elections yet. This delay has made people worried, especially considering Mali's history of military takeovers and instability in the region. With opposition voices being silenced, there's a growing urgency to restore democracy and bring back normal governance. Is France supporting NGOs and political parties advocating for elections instead of aiding the junta in combating terrorism? Let's uncover the truth in this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel, give the video a thumbs up, and share it with others to help us reach a wider audience. Now let's get back to the video. Political parties in Mali are urgently seeking clarity on the schedule for presidential elections as the ruling junta failed to organize polls within the promised 24-month transition period back to democracy. Since August 2020, Mali has been under military rule, marking the first of eight coups across West and Central Africa within four years, impacting neighboring countries like Burkina Faso and Niger. Despite efforts by regional blocs to facilitate transitions, interim governments have been slow to act. The current junta, which seized power in a second coup in 2021, had pledged to restore civilian rule within 24 months starting from March 2022, with elections slated for February. However, it postponed the elections in February citing technical reasons, sparking outrage among political groups. With the recent expiration of the transition deadline without a vote, several major political parties and civil society groups issued a joint statement urging authorities to establish a framework for elections promptly. They emphasized their commitment to employing all lawful means to reinstate constitutional order in the country. Despite these calls, the junta has remained silent. Mali's military rulers had previously reneged on their promise to hold elections in February 2022, leading to severe sanctions from the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, and straining relations with France, its former colonial power. France withdrew its forces from the region in 2022, impacting the fight against the long-standing Islamist insurgency. ECOWAS eventually lifted sanctions after Mali published a new electoral law. In two separate press releases, dozens of political and civil groups highlighted that the transition period ended on March 26. In a statement released on Sunday evening, the first group, made up of NGO organizations and political parties in Mali, called on the junta to create the conditions for rapid and inclusive dialogue for the establishment of an institutional architecture and with immediate effect organize a presidential election. In a separate statement, the Network of Human Rights Defenders in Mali, RDDHM, which brings together 50 local organizations, issued the same appeal to the junta. The country is going through enormous difficulty and the transition is not intended to resolve all the country's problems. It is time to end this impasse, especially since the last postponement of the transition expired on March 26, said RDDHM's President Suleiman Kamara, who called for a return to constitutional order. Under junta rule, voices from the opposition have become rare, stifled by injunctions for national unity and repressive measures. Last week, the junta banned the activities of a rare new opposition coalition in Bamako, citing threats of disturbance to public order. The group is highly critical of the junta and has proposed a new way for Malians who have seen the country ravaged by different groups affiliated with Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group since 2012. The UN said in a statement issued in March that at least four organizations have been dissolved since December 2023, including groups relating to good governance, elections, and opposition. It appears that certain political parties and NGOs are possibly being backed by France to pressure the Mali junta into stepping down, potentially allowing corrupt politicians to regain control and further destabilize the country. Similar tactics were employed by France's puppet, Macky Sall, who created multiple political parties in Senegal to maintain power, only to face defeat. These pseudo-NGOs seem to have observed the junta's success in combating terrorism and now aim to revert the country to what they label as democracy, despite the risk of certain regions falling back into the hands of terrorists. Africa's primary need isn't democracy but rather visionary leaders genuinely committed to their country's well-being. While the junta aims to secure the nation and safeguard its resources, there are forces, both internal and external, seeking their failure seeking to replicate the scenario in other African nations where leaders serve foreign interests while the country's resources benefit outsiders. In the quest for stability and prosperity, Mali stands at a crossroads where the choices made today will shape tomorrow's destiny. 
Let us not be swayed by the allure of superficial democracy, but instead strive for genuine progress under visionary leadership. Together, let's champion the cause of true sovereignty, where African nations are empowered to chart their own course, free from external manipulation. For it is through unity, wisdom, and a steadfast commitment to the well-being of our people that the brightest future for Africa shall emerge. Dear esteemed viewers, your perspectives are invaluable to us. We invite you to share your thoughts, should the Mali hunter relinquish power to reinstate democracy, or should they remain in control to sustain the ongoing battle against terrorism? Your insights matter deeply to us, so please take a moment to express your opinion in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with others. Thank you for watching.